And with that, I would like to lead over to our first speaker, Professor Anu Mohammed from Bangladesh. Um, and I understand we have a PowerPoint presentation, so um, if you like, I'll change the slides for you. Hmm. No, I, I can do it. Okay. And you have about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. I, I, uh, I would like to focus on uh, the situation in Bangladesh, where Bangladesh does not have a big story about coal, but in the, in, this is now beginning. The government and international agencies are trying very hard to push Bangladesh for coal, uh, coal mining, coal power, fire, power plant, etc. But there is a uh, strong resistance, history of resistance against coal mine <coughs> and coal-fired power plant in Bangladesh. In 2006, there was a huge protest against open pit mine in Bangladesh. People were killed, but there was a mass uprising. And Fulbari, uh, this open pit mine could not take place because of people's resistance. And that resistance is still continuing. Since 2010, uh, Bangladesh uh, and India jointly uh, tried to build a, a coal-fired power plant in coastal area, which is very vulnerable for climate change. Bangladesh is a very, uh, very uh, in a dangerous situation because of climate change situation. And that Sundarban, there is the biggest mangrove forest uh, in the world, and that has become a like uh, very uh, strong and big shelter for Bangladesh to fight climate change consequences. So in that location, Bangladesh and India governments jointly trying to build a coal-fired power plant. So, and people's resistance is, uh, is there since 2010-11. So that is the scenario. Uh, on which I would like to just uh, make some points. This is the largest mangrove forest, Sundarban. This is Bangladesh and India. Bangladesh, uh, the Sundarban, 60% of uh, Sundarban uh, is in Bangladesh. And this is, uh, this is uh, very important for Bangladesh because it's the largest mangrove forest and it's a unique ecosystem. Uh, it is a uh, World Heritage Site declared by UNESCO and it is livelihood of about 3.5 million poor people. They are mostly fishing, fishing and also they earn their living from forest resources. Sundarban means the natural protection for about 50 million people because that protects people from natural disaster. Cedar, Isla, this big uh, cyclone tornado. Uh, Sundarman protects uh, people from that. And it is a also a big shelter against climate change. In that area, a Rampal coal based thermal power plant, this is a, I, we consider it a project of mass destruction. And this is, uh, this, uh, this is initiated in 2010 and uh, signing took place in 2012 is a uh, 13 20 megawatt power plant and india is very big way involved in this indian company uh, state owned company ntpc is involved indian bank exim bank is involved indian construction company bharat heavy electric limited company that is involved and this is ntpc uh, share is 15% 15% and 70% loan from Exim India, and total investment is almost $2 billion. And there are other uh, uh, parties involved in this. There is a BlackRock, Vanguard, TIA, ANJ, Deutsche Bank, and IFC also indirectly. Indirectly and indirectly, different players are involved, and they are very much interested to destroy Shungabu. And German company uh, Fischner, is, is involved as, as a designing partner, designing consultancy firm. Fischner is involved in this. In last uh, August, I had the opportunity to talk to German officials, government officials, 
about this. I asked them that uh, since Germany is taking position against coal, why your company is involved in destroying Sundarban by uh, working in coal-fired power plant? His answer was that we cannot uh, prevent any private company from doing any business elsewhere, except if any company is involved in terrorist activities. And I, I, my response was that I hope you will realize that the, uh, the any activities that would destroy environment in a large way is not less dangerous than terrorist act. So you will realize that and you will take your position. So that is the case. We hope this uh, conference will, a, 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 many, many in, in this room will take notice of the involvement of German company and will raise their voice. And experts from our country and foreign uh, international experts, everybody has uh, come to the conclusion that this coal-fired power plant will be very huge impact on Sundarban and it will be irreversible. This destruction of Sundarban not only affect the people in coastal area of Bangladesh but also people in India. And therefore we find many people in India, including Shomodatta, who are very much concerned and people living in there, they are also trying to become involved in this movement uh, to, uh, to, block, uh, to stop this project. And this is very close. It is a 14 kilometer, and uh, if we consider the buffer zone, then it is only four kilometers uh, away. And Indian experts, I mean, there are many experts who say that this type of power plant would never be allowed in India. And India is reducing their uh, coal-fired power plant in India, and they are many. They are stopping. They are closing many mines and power plant and shifting their position to renewable energy, but they are trying to find some market to uh, sell their excess coal or employ their uh, experts and consultants and engineers and it make, get some investment area in countries like Bangladesh. And India, NTPC is uh, already uh, cancelled their many coal plants. It, this, this is a Madhya Pradesh uh, uh, huge coal-fired power plant, 2,660 megawatt. That was uh, uh, that was that decision was to stop this because of within 20 to 30 kilometers there is a temple, and there is a huge temple, and there is a very logical decision. But the same NTPC is uh, building coal-fired power plant within 14 kilometers of very ecologically sensitive Sundarban. Sri Lanka also scrapped NTPC's plan to build coal-fired power plant. Power plant. Uh, uh, th there was a very logical decision uh, because that would destroy their coastal area. UNESCO, uh, UNESCO also rejected this. UNESCO, uh, there, is a, there was a Rampal monitoring mission. They visited in March 2016 in the area and they wrote many times to Bangladesh government to stop this. And in the monitoring mission came to the decision and their concerns were very much very clear. Pollution from coal ash by air, pollution from wastewater and waste ash, increased shipping and raising and the cumulative impact of industrial and related development infrastructure. The uh, about 300 new projects, commercial projects, are being attracted by this Rampal coal fire power plant in the same area, Sundarban area. So this Rampal coal fire power plant not only by itself, also by adding many other commercial activities will certainly destroy Sundarban. So therefore, we are in a struggle to prevent this, about seven years of people's struggle. We had long marches in 2013, 15, 16, all over demonstration in all over Bangladesh, open letters to Prime Minister to Bangladesh, of Bangladesh and India. There was a huge number of research papers, publications, songs, theatre, 
documentary films that were an unprecedented level of uh, activities by different sections of people. And we also had meetings with government. We put our arguments. We had signature campaign and we had also the first time of general strike to save a forest. And we suffered from police attack, arrest, torture, death threat, harassment. All these things happened to the people. Even then, we, this struggle continued because the people had a, a, a conscience, consensus that there are many alternatives for power generation, but there is no alternative for Shundar. And uh, children also participated in different way. Uh, in many different sections of people uh, participated in the movement in different ways. Children also were not far from the movement. There is a, we had global day protest in 2017, 7 January. We had uh, different cities, there was rallies, and we are planning another uh, global programs in next December and February. And there was a uh, strike also. Not only movement, but we also worked hard to find alternative, uh, alternative path to generate power, because Bangladesh needs power. But we, our argument is there are alternatives, much better alternatives. And we uh, presented after two years of uh, work, research, consultation, nationally and internationally, we came up with draft for, for consultation, the alternative power and energy plan for Bangladesh. So this is in summing up, in the government plan up to 2041 is, their government is planning for power generation, coal 35%, and uh, in imported LNG and a few natural gas 35%, nuclear 10 percent. This is the government plan. Our plan is we found, we had worked hard to find better solution and in better solution we found that we can make renewable energy as dominant way for power generation in Bangladesh. We have huge solar energy, we have huge very good source of wind energy, we have waste energy, so there is a potential. We explore our potential, so we explain our potential. And we found that renewable energy, from renewable energy, we can get 55%. And natural gas, from within, we can get 35%. But since, if we consider the present dynamics and the trend of renewable energy, development of technology, and reduction of cost, then we are very much optimistic that uh, by 2041, not um, many uh, will will not will uh, will not uh, need many hour, years to have 100 percent renewable energy. That will be very much possible. So that is, I think, that is our objective. And in that goal, we are working hard, and we need uh, support uh, everywhere. We are working academic and other research work, and also people's mobilization is there. And we hope that in, since there are many international agencies, many business groups are involved in taking Bangladesh in a pro-coal uh, power generation line, we need international mobilization, international public support to have in a right direction where Bangladesh can get safer, cheaper, and environment-friendly power that will that will take Bangladesh in a very pro-people development direction. Thank you very much.